going on guys today is may 18th i'm gonna give you guys an update on the lawn show you guys about what's been going on we're getting a lot of rain again uh, we got some rain earlier this week we had a uh, 0.8 inches of rain not too much as has we've been getting in the past few weekends or so but um it's causing a lot of the sedges to uh, come back up again so i haven't mowed since tuesday and the plan is to uh, go mow today, but I'm going to actually forgo that and spray down these sedges right here. You can see it's got a ton of these going on right here all over my lawn. Now, this is the week that I'm going to start doing the top dressing with sand. So I'm getting prepared to do that. Order that stuff out. Get ready to aerate too. And the more weekend is coming up uh, next weekend. And then I'll be ready to go. Top dress this sucker and get this thing all nice and flat. And hopefully... I'm gonna achieve the most dominant looking lawn in the neighborhood. One few things I wanna talk about is uh, parts of my lawn. I guess apparently these spots that haven't been growing grass, turns out that this is perhaps fungus. You can see this right here, it looks like this brown patch. And just to let you guys know, it did not happen with all this nitrogen that I've been putting it down uh, for the month of April and May. It's not related to that. This has been here before that so during the march april time frame these were basically just dormant grasses that weren't coming out of dormancy so this damage could have uh, potentially have happened uh, during the winter time um not sure maybe it just got too cold and wet and these spots had froze up during the winter time explains why it's set up this way so i did apply headway g at the end of april and i think i need to put another application Probably going to put it down when I'm doing the top dressing. So after I do my aeration, I'm going to go ahead and just do my uh, fertilize, lay uh, Headway G, spray my uh, Turflex Nutrizolve. I'll top dress it with carbonized PN. I've bought 20 bags of carbonized PN this year. So I'm going to be top dressing the entire lawn with carbonized PN before I do the sand. So basically, the idea is to basically aerate it first, get the holes open up. I'm going to do a core aeration using a core aeration machine and then I'm going to put fertilizer down. I'm going to do my 14714. I'm going to do that at the high rate which is the 0.9 pounds per thousand. Basically it's going to be using the whole bag because I've got 6,000 square foot to cover. Um, if you calculate that out, the bag is a 40 pound bag. Uh, you are laying typical it says on the bag that you need to be laying about 6.4 pounds per thousand to get your 0.9. Um, if I, that's pretty close to 40 pounds if you're doing over 6,000 square foot. So I'm just going to go ahead and just use the whole bag. Um, that'll get me a little bit over 0.9 of pounds of uh, nitrogen for the entire lawn for the month of June. I will be using Turfplex as well at the same time. That's another 0.1, so that's already going to be a pound of nitrogen that I'm putting into the lawn before I top dress everything. And I may even spike it a little bit with uh, some death fluid. <clears throat> Not too sure yet, but potentially could be doing it. I'll be spiking it maybe with a 0.1. I did buy some Lesco 4600 um, just to mess around with. I've been spoon feeding that toward the lawn you know, every few days. Every time we were getting rain, I was dumping about 0.2 pounds of nitrogen uh, here and there. So I've done it about three times so far for the month of uh, May and you can see how the grass has been taken off you know given with the heat and the rain and temperatures we begin but also the nitrogen so I've been steadily feeding the lawn a good amount of nitrogen so for the month of May we're, we're pretty much over one pound uh, I think right now my total of nitrogen that I've laid down uh, 1.5 so about one and a half pounds of nitrogen has been laid uh, throughout the entire entire front yard so um, nice green up the color looks way better than how it did last year and um, I like it all right got done spraying all the sedges spot spraying and I don't think I'll be doing spot spraying ever again given how many sedges I had to cover and just go around I think I was better off uh, just blanket spraying the whole entire front yard it took me half the time because I literally had to walk around and try to hunt for the sedges to make sure I didn't miss any. And I'm pretty sure I missed some. So blanket spraying is always uh, more guaranteed to 
get, get more of the sedges. Because as small as those grassy weeds are, they're a bit hard to see um, when they're mixed in with the Bermuda. But yeah, um, that's it. Next, uh, I won't be mowing until uh, it's time to aerate. And I'm going to be scalping the lawn. I'm going to take it down to 0.35 inches. It should be a good, it should be a good how to cut to clean everything up. And then I'm going to do aeration and fertilize and top dress with carbonized PN and uh, sand. And then give it about two weeks or so. Everything getting grown back and it's going to look glorious, guys. It's going to be glorious. I'm excited. This is going to be the ultimate moment to find out if I'm going to get it to a super flat, smooth golf course lawn that I've been waiting for since last season. Remember, guys, I started this all last year, 2023. So this is year two. Let's see how much I can get done year two. And hopefully it'll be a big accomplishment. And uh, maybe the top dressing won't have to be done uh, the next following year. Maybe I can skip that year, 2025, skip that, and then uh, do it again in 2026. So let's see what happens. Stay tuned, guys. It's coming up. Yo, yo, what is happening, my friends? Got to give an update on the lawn. Got some really bad news going on. Actually, it's not really bad news, but disappointing news. I am not going to be able to get the sand this week. Uh, I was hoping to get it for Memorial Day weekend so that I could get uh, my aeration and top dressing done. It's a good time to do it uh, during that part of the year. But the place that I called, which is Site 1, um, not the one that was closest to me, it was the one a little bit further away. Uh, they actually sell uh, landscaping materials. Uh, they were not able to get it for me until May 31st. So I am delayed for one week to get this project going. So that's the unfortunate part. So I have not mowed since last Tuesday, so it's been exactly one week since I've mowed the lawn and I was going to hold off on it to uh, scalp it later this week so that I can uh, start my aeration and then do the top dressing over the weekend but since that's not happening I'm going to go ahead and mow it today I did spray in my last video I showed you guys uh, that I had sprayed my certainty over these sedges so it's been I can't remember how many days it's been but it's been several days now since uh I'd sprayed them and they are slowly dying but um, the lawn is due for a mow it is getting pretty long so let's go ahead and get that taken care of
the mo. Look at the sky. Check it out. Isn't that pretty? But yeah, um, finished mowing. I did not edge. Basically, uh, I'm trying to prevent erosion occurring on the edges. You can see right here, um, edging has caused some of the um, ground to recede from the concrete. So I'm actually getting some gaps in the edges and uh, I had to fill in some dirt. There's a big spot right here that I actually had to fill up with dirt. So uh, I'm trying not to edge right now. I'm just gonna leave it as is. I did a uh, rotary scissors close to the edge of the concrete so that I could get everything flat and even with the rest of the, the grass. But uh, I am not edging. So next week, once I get everything sand leveled, uh, I'm gonna leave it as is. And then uh, I'll edge it once everything goes back in. But look at the color, guys. Man, it looks really good. I think uh, all that nitrogen I've been giving us has finally kicked in. We've been getting like three or four sunny days now. Um, the rain has stopped. We might be getting some rain tomorrow. So if it does happen, I may dump a little bit more nitrogen. Probably just in the center line. Hopefully I can get the grass to go through the brown patch and all those things. Um, but yeah, these are just wear out spots from, I guess, brown patch and then uh, all that rain we've been getting uh, the past month. So aer aerating and leveling should take care of all this. So once I get that done, everything should be fully filled in and everything should be flat and level. That's the goal for this year. So let me get you guys a view here. It looks better in, in person than it does from the camera. But pretty much that center part of the lawn right there and all right there, that's all thick grass now. So that's the good part about it. It's way better than last year um, when I first started. The grasses definitely have filled in. PGR has helped. I stopped PGR already. This week is supposed to be the week that I put in my uh, June application, but I'm waiting until next week. Um, once I do the aeration, I'm going to lay down the 14714. And as I mentioned earlier, that will be, I'll be doing a 0.9 pounds of nitrogen with that. Turf flex is going to be 0.1. And then I'll be doing turf flex again in mid month of June to get it to the 1.1. Or and I may throw a little bit of def in there or the 4600 that I have from Lesco. Uh, I'll show you guys that bag later on. Uh, not quite going to talk about that yet, but that is what's been up with the lawn so far. Um, like I said, guys, I did get delayed. Uh, can I get sand this weekend? Unfortunately, because uh, they're so backed up, they're not going to be able to get it to me until May 31st. And I decided not to get it at this local uh, stone yard nearby me. I checked out the masonry sand there. It had a bit, a little bit of pebbles, so I chose to go with a a site one that's uh, 20, about 29 miles away from where my, I'm at and their sand's pretty clean. Masonry sand looks pretty good. Um, almost similar to uh, what you see at a golf course, uh, like a sand bunker. So, you know, you always want to get the best for your lawn. So that's what I'm doing. So sometimes uh, it's worth the wait to get the good stuff. But yeah, eight yards of masonry sand is going to be coming in May 31st. Uh, we'll be dumping it here again under this tree and this time I'm going to use, I'm going to try to get all of it down into the ground. And before that, I do have 20 bags of carbonized PN that I'm planning on laying down. That will be going down as well uh, day before or maybe day of. So stay tuned for that. Once aeration is done, the order it's going to be is aeration. Then it's going to be fertilizer, uh, spray fertilizer, maybe some urea or death. Uh, RGS and humic is going down as well next day or maybe same day. And then I'm going to put carbonized PN. I'm going to spread it out throughout the entire front yard. 20 bags should be able to cover roughly around 6,000 square feet, I hope. Just a thin layer, not going thick. And then eight yards of masonry sand. And I'm gonna thicken. I'm gonna go thick layer this time. So I'm gonna get it to push through, and hopefully everything will be flat and nice and ready to go. But man, 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 everything is thickening up, 
and it's looking good. Sedges are still not quite gone yet, but they're dying. You can see right there. So, yeah, I would I predict probably by the end of June, last week of June is when everything's going to recover. Everything's going to look tip top shape. And then by the time we reach uh, July 4th, maybe it's going to be in the best condition it will ever be. Oh yeah, never mind, Vandy. I need to lay hydrogen too. So I'm going to lay hydrogen too once I do my RGS and Humic 12. Uh, I'll be laying that too. So that's another thing I'll be laying down. And if I do get my fungicide and Delta Guard G, I'll probably lay that in too, along with the fertilizer, all, all on the same, same day that I'm doing that. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to get that all on film for you. And we're going to get to see the results for 2024. That's, this is the ultimate project. So... Alright guys, stay tuned. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.